Welcome to another episode of Filipino Food Lovers Video Recipe. That is right, guys. I'm back again making video. Uh, I just finished cooking some dinaguan, and if you'll stick around, I'd be more happy to show you how I did it. For this recipe, you need pork blood, fish sauce, vinegar, bay leaves, ground black pepper, pork meat, garlic, onions, and finger peppers. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and brown our meat before we add the garlic and the onion. Once the meat is brown, then you can go ahead and add the, add the garlic. What I do, I just kind of put the meat on the side. Kind of lower your heat a little bit, medium. And Add a little bit of cooking oil and go ahead and add the garlic. These are just a, I just crushed this with a garlic crusher and let it fry for a little bit till it's about golden brown and then you can go ahead and add the onions. Add the onion. I pre chopped it earlier, of course. Maybe add about another tablespoon of cooking oil. And just let it cook like that for about, again, about half a minute or so. I think the onion is ready. And once it's ready, go ahead and mix it all up along with the meat and stuff. Now we're ready for our next ingredient, which is going to be, again, you know, if you don't like this ingredient, then you can just use salt. But traditionally, for most Filipino, they like this stuff. It's a fish sauce. Uh, we call it in the Philippines, patis. It's made out of fermented fish. And most people, they don't like this by just the sound of it, actually. To be honest with you, if you don't know, it's on on the dish you won't even know and actually you'd be looking for it once you get used to eating it but anyway I just add about probably a good two or three tablespoon of patis to give it a good flavor before we add our next ingredient at this time I'll go ahead and add a little bit of paminta your ground black pepper Just a dab. It's a, it's a it's a working progress. It's a working process, you know. You add a little bit of it at a time. I believe we're ready for the for our key for our key ingredient, I should say, which is the blood. This is the pork blood that I prepped up earlier. I uh, added about about a quart of vinegar and let it set for a good ten minutes, and then now we're ready to add it to the to the meat. Now one thing though, once you add the blood, turn your heat to medium low and constantly mix this thing. Oh, before I forget, make sure that you add your bay leaves at this time. I put them with a couple of, couple of pieces of them and um, basically just kind of like bear it like that and let it let it simmer with with the rest of the stuff okay now we're ready to check this thing yep just as i thought this thing looks a little too thick than i would prepare so i'm gonna go ahead and add uh, some liquid preferably i would add um chicken broth since I don't have chicken broth in hand right now I just use one cup of plain water and I will add a cube of chicken I mean chicken broth to add flavor to that water so 
I'm gonna do that right now and I will go ahead and mix this thing stir it good so let's check it out so where we at to see where we at oh yeah this thing is cooking good I'm gonna go ahead and taste this thing to do our taste test. Let's see if we need any more vinegar or uh, fish sauce. I think everything is okay except it definitely needed some more souring agent. I'm gonna add about I'll start about three I'd say about a quart of this package see how uh, how that tastes and then you can always add some more later if it's not enough well, I'm gonna taste this again see where we're at oh yeah I think that's plenty. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Now I'm ready to put our final ingredient. Four finger peppers. These peppers are not really the hottest. You know, even though they, they look kind of big, but they're pretty mild actually. I just like the, the aroma of the pepper. Alright, I believe this thing is almost done. Let's see and find out. Whenever I added the pepper, the finger pepper, I um, let this thing simmer for about 5 minutes. And this is what it looks like now. Well, I believe that we finally reach the point that this thing is ready to be served I hope you enjoy watching and enjoy cooking with me